So let's talk about the work done by spring force. So let's suppose we have the following spring given in the diagram and let's suppose our initial position of the spring when it's not compressed or stretched is given by the following position x naught lying along the x-axis. Now recall that every single spring has a certain stiffness to it and the stiffness depends on the spring constant k. So the higher the k, the more stiff our spring is, the lower the k, the less stiff our spring is. So let's suppose I take my hand and I want to compress my spring a certain distance x along my x-axis. So I go from x initial to x final. The question is, what is the force that I need to apply on my spring to stretch or compress the spring a certain distance? Well, the force is given by Hooke's law, which has the following equation. The force required to compress or stretch a certain spring with a spring constant k, a certain distance uh, change in x, is given by this formula. So notice the following. Notice that if I apply this force on my spring, compress the spring this distance x, the spring will apply a force back in my hand and this force will point in the opposite direction and it will have the same exact magnitude as per Newton's third law of motion. So, let's go to part two. Notice that this force created by the spring on my hand that resists my motion, resists my push, is not constant. In fact, it increases proportionally with the displacement. So if we take this formula and we plot it on the xy axis, so the x axis is my change in position, my displacement, and my f is the y axis, and my slope is the k. So we see we have a linear constant slope. So that basically means the following. The more I try to compress my spring, the higher the force. So as I move in a positive direction along the x-axis, the more my displacement, the higher the force. So because my force created by the spring on my object, in this case the hand, is not constant, that means if we want to find the work done by the spring on my hand, we have to use the following formula. We have to integrate. So the work done is equal to, well, we take the integral of the dot product of these two vectors. The infinitely small change in distance, our displacement vector, multiply that by our force vector. And we take the integral from A to B of this dot product. So, Let's suppose that A is our x naught and that's zero along the x-axis. And let's suppose our B is the final position x along our x-axis. And let's suppose that the force is the force created by the spring on our object, in this case the hand. So we use this equation. So we replace the force with kx and we replace the L with simply x. So we get the following equation. The work is equal to the integral of this uh, function uh, as we go from 0 to x, our x naught of 0 to x. So we take the integral, we integrate, and we get x squared divided by 2 multiplied by k, our spring constant. And we integrate from 0 to x. So the 0 simply becomes 0, and we're left with the work that our spring does on our hand, or equivalently, the work that we do on the spring in compressing it, is equal to the following equation. The spring constant k multiplied by x, our displacement squared, divided by 2. Now, notice an interesting thing. If we go back to our graph, notice that if we take the area underneath this curve 
as shown here. So we draw the following triangle and we integrate, which is essentially what we're doing in this case. So if this final position is x, this initial position is 0, and we integrate, we take the area of this, this area will be exactly identical to this. And notice that because this is a triangle, we can take the base, multiply by the height, divide by 2, and we should get exactly this value, and that's exactly what we get. So our base is x, our height, the force, is k times x, and we divide that by 2, and this gives us the area underneath our triangular curve. And that gives us this, which is identical to this. So the spring, the work that the spring does, or the work that we must do on the spring, is equal to the spring constant uh, multiplied by the square of displacement divided by 2.